Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Bushings on conduits are required when? And these are the four options. Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. So when you're installing conductors in a conduit, you're often going to use a lock ring to lock it down to the box or whatever you're using. But then we're going to use a fitting like this oftentimes. Now, there are other requirements in the code that require bushings. But specifically, one of these four answers is the majority time when you're going to start using bushings. Now, there's nothing wrong with using bushings all the time. But there, it's not always necessary depending on what conduit you're using you know, and where you're at in the system. So let's go ahead and take a look at this now. We're gonna find this in 300.4G. And the answer to the question is when the conductors are four AWG or larger. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. It says where raceways contain four AWG or larger insulated circuit conductors, these conductors, and they enter a cabinet, a box enclosure raceway, Prior to the installation of those conductors, they shall be protected in accordance of one through four. And there are some other methods that you can satisfy this code with. The most common one are these plastic bushings right here. They just get the job done. They're very inexpensive and it's very easy to use. I do want to note that the new text in the 2023, the highlighted text says prior to the installation of the conductors. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm guilty. I've put on a bushing after I've pulled the conductors. I've put on a bushing after I've terminated the conductors. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But the code, the whole point of this is to protect it from abrasion, right? From it scraping against the, the side and the lip of the connector or the, the end of the conduit if it's just a solid piece of conduit. So I understand this one and I get it, but I cannot say that I am guiltless. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and hopefully this video added a little bit of value to you, and you will in turn go out today and add value to others. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.